It may not look like it right now. Stream water gently flowing through a prairie grassland, an abundant wildlife population living in the wooded wetlands, kids playing in nearby parks and splash pads. It's a far cry from what this was just a few short years ago. To see people and actually help people carry, you know, their furniture up out of their basements. Some, a lot of them were finished and the sadness and some of the homes, homes were actually destroyed. This whole four and a half mile, 450 acre stretch of land is part of what was a natural disaster zone. Not once, not twice, but on three separate occasions, those hundred year floods were now happening every few years, devastating the immediate area around Four Mile Creek, uprooting anyone and anything who lived in its way. But when you get, when that happens to you two and then three times, I think folks are ready to say, okay, enough's enough. Following the 2018 flooding along Four Mile Creek, Polk County, the city of Des Moines, and the state of Iowa agreed on one hard truth. It's gonna flood. No matter what we do, it's gonna flood. And so we're removing that risk of people from continuing having flooding again and again. So down here in, along Four Mile Creek uh, in Des Moines and Pleasant Hill and Polk County, we've made a concerted effort to help get people's homes out of the floodplain, get those houses out, get people out of danger. With homes purchased and residents relocated, the state and local governments could have just left it at that, a floodplain that would be a mix of unsightly, unused roads, parking lots, and weeds. Instead, a decision was quickly made, one that would prove this land could still be of even greater value to the community. We call like a linear park, a greenway. Think about a park that stretches from Pleasant Hill all the way up to Ankeny. That's the future of Four Mile Creek. An urban park with bike trails, recreational opportunities, wildlife, and nature preserves all running right through the heart of Des Moines. Meetings were held, design firms consulted, and plans drawn up for a unique opportunity to turn tragedy into treasure. So the first thing we start with is we look at aerial imagery. We figure out what the landscape looks like and where certain practices fit. Amanda Brown and the team at Polk County Conservation were given a unique task find a way to construct a picturesque, user-friendly landscape, one that must be allowed to flood again and again, only to naturally rehabilitate itself into that same linear park that they envisioned. So the first thing that we did uh, is once we started looking at working up and down Four Mile Creek was, well, let's walk every foot of the stream, let's drive every road, let's really come up with a plan to make improvements. So we identified those areas of stream that really needed stabilized. We came up with a uh, plan to restore the vegetation back to how it used to be, and then putting that plan into action. A perfect mix, but not just for aesthetic reasons. No, these wetlands will serve an even greater purpose. Of course, water quality, for one thing, is the main objective. The state of Iowa is working with local communities, including Polk County, to identify and help fund projects that may have the ancillary effect of cleaning waterways while restoring their natural landscape. We look at especially the impaired waters across the state. We'll want to try to, you know, priority watersheds through our water quality initiative. We want to target a lot of those water sources to help improve those, make those water quality improvements. At Four Mile, that includes redirecting stormwater pipes to filter water through the watershed, creating a natural filter to clean polluted water before it can even reach the stream. Rock barriers are now installed to redirect water flow. So once it's all greened up, it really just looks like a nice natural prairie area, but there's rocks, there's little jetties sticking out in the stream, and what those rocks and jetties are doing is they're holding those, that stream in place. The awesome thing about native prairies is they're, they're cool grasses and flowers, but the, the, the best part about them is they have five to 10 foot deep roots. Those roots are gonna soak up water uh, that otherwise would be running right into the streets, carrying pollution, it's gonna filter it, and then also strategically using wetlands that are built to capture water coming out of pipes rather than letting those pipes dump right into Four Mile, treating them along the way. It's a massive undertaking for all those involved. In fact, the whole process, while well underway, is expected to take a full seven years to complete. We really are in the first stages of uh, the restoration. That's really the big piece people see. Houses are out for the most part. The roads are getting removed. The first stage of three phases of roads have been removed. And Polk County Conservation Board is really moving forward with the restoration. So taking it from grass and weeds to native prairie and woodlands includes planting trees, seeding that native vegetation. Uh, we seeded our first areas about a year ago. And now we have a very aggressive approach over the next couple of years to get all of the, the acres uh, restored back to native Iowa land. Landscapes. But even now, the progress is transformative. If you get back here on this watershed, you don't even realize you're in an urban area on some parts of this trail. It's that nice. From disastrous flood zones 
to a tranquil, user-friendly, and environmentally beneficial watershed. Four Mile is certain to be an example of water quality and control. Another example of Polk County leading the way. Uh, we want to make it the best that we can, and that's what we're doing with this watershed. And hopefully we'll be able to use it on different watersheds across the county.